What's going on guys, get you into throw here with more Grand Theft Auto 5 and today I've got something really cool for you guys This is a glitch that allows you to play GTA 5 online in first-person view as you can see here This is not a mod This is actually you know something that anybody can do you can go do this yourself right now And it allows you to run around and drive in first person in GTA online So this is really cool really epic and a great find for uh, Grand Theft Auto online So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can do this glitch yourself and also a few of the implications that go along with it. But don't worry, as you'll see in a second, it's pretty easy to do. So what you're gonna want to do is go to the pier where they've got the uh, the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster, and you want to run up to the entrance gates and hit right on the D-pad to get on the Ferris wheel. Now, as soon as you do that, you want to quickly bring up your interaction menu, hit up one time, and hover over Kill Yourself. Now you want to kill yourself as soon as you see that cart stop. So the second it stops in front of the entrance gates, kill yourself. You'll see your guy just fall and die just like that. If you wait too long to kill yourself, it's just gonna force you to get onto the Ferris wheel, and then you'll have to get off and try again. So make sure you get your timing down. So after after killing yourself, you're gonna spawn on the beach or at least somewhere close in the area, and what you want to do this time is run over to the roller coaster. Once you're there, just sit tight and wait for the roller coaster to come around. It might take a few seconds depending on, you know, where it's at on its track, but it's a short ride, so it shouldn't take very long at all. So now, a few seconds later, the roller coaster's here, and just hit right on the D-pad to get on it. Now, do not touch anything on your controller. Do not change your view, just don't touch anything. You're gonna see the game kind of glitch out and take you to this view right here. If you see this, that means that you've done the glitch correctly up to this point. Now, still, don't touch anything on your controller. What you want to do is just sit tight until you see the roller coaster approach the hump closest to us. See the one near the bottom of the screen there? So we're just gonna speed this up a little bit right now, and let's just watch the roller coaster go. Don't be touching anything on your your controller yet it's going it's going and then right as it gets to this hump here hit the back button on your controller one time to change your view it should look like this now obviously if you're on PlayStation 3 then that's gonna be the select button but yeah now if you see this that means that still you've done it correctly up to this point so now that's really all there is to it you're just gonna sit tight now until your character gets off the Ferris wheel feel free to look around but don't change your view anymore uh, I'm just kind of wiggling my analog stick around kind of enjoying the view and then as the ride comes to a stop you're gonna get off the roller coaster and you are going to be in first person view now at first as you can see here It's a little hard to control This was my first time ever doing the glitch and I was trying to run down the stairs here And you can see that I'm kind of having a, a little bit of difficulty controlling my character because um, I don't know It's just kind of strange. It's a little hard to figure out which analog stick does what you think it would be a lot easier than it is to control But after a little while you do get more used to it and you can make your character go where you want him to go So uh, I saw the stairs over here and I was like all right Let's run down these stairs right over here and I took my turn and come on uh, 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 uh. so yeah there there we go so as you can see it is definitely possible to go uh, where you want to go so now we're gonna go try to fist fight some people because uh, when you are in this first person mode unfortunately you cannot use weapons you're limited to your fists but as you can see here uh, it's still plenty of fun you can still knock people out pretty good and uh, all the physics are still the same you know you're still using your fists uh, just as if you were in third person you just can't use melee weapons or guns or anything like that Another thing that I should mention uh, is that should you be killed while doing this glitch by, let's say, another player or a cop or something like that, you will still spawn in the first person view. So that's a nice little advantage of doing this glitch. So lastly, I want to show you guys the biggest limitation of this glitch, and that is the fact that you need to stay in a certain proximity to the ferris wheel or else you will be put back in third person view and you'll have to repeat the glitch. So as you can see here, I'm driving down the highway and right there I got a shot of the back of my guy's neck and there it zooms out and we are out of the first person view. We're back in third person, uh, everything is completely back to normal, and to go back into the first person, we're gonna have to repeat the glitch and do that little process over again. So, uh, you do need to stay in the beach area or the pier, but as you can see here, I was able to drive, you know, quite a ways away, so you have some freedom, it's not entirely limiting, but for now, that's, uh, that's how you're gonna get first person in Grand Theft Auto 5 online. Hopefully in the PC version and next gen, maybe they'll add an option like that, who knows, but for now, I think that's good enough. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to tell me what you think in the comments below. And with that, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. I will see you next time.